Welcome to NASA Space News, your daily premier source for space exploration, innovation, and astronomy news and updates. SpaceX will use robot chopsticks to catch massive Starship rocket. Tech billionaire Elon Musk took to Twitter on Monday to announce that his aerospace manufacturing firm SpaceX will try to catch the largest ever flying object with robot chopsticks. The audacious plan could be carried out later this year during a major test of the Mars-bound Starship craft, which will see it blasted into orbit by a super-heavy booster rocket. SpaceX may dig a tunnel to enable frequent South Texas launches. Elon Musk's The Boring Company wants to dig a transport tunnel near SpaceX's Texas launch base to make it easier for staff to get to work, the Brownsville Herald reported on Sunday. The Boring Company, Musk's tunneling venture, proposed the idea in a meeting with county officials. Pete Sepulveda Jr., a county administrator who attended the discussion, told the Herald. SpaceX wanted to dig a tunnel between an area south of South Padre Island, where some staff live, to a spot north of Boca Chica Beach, he said. Small cracks found in International Space Station module. Small cracks have been discovered in the International Space Station's Zarya module, according to a new report. Superficial fissures have been found in some places on the Zarya module. Vladimir Soloviev, chief engineer of Moscow-based company Energia, the prime contractor for Russia's human spaceflight program, told Russia's state-owned RIA news agency, Reuters reported today, August 30th. This is bad and suggests that the fissures will begin to spread over time. Soloviev did not say whether the cracks, which were discovered by Russian cosmonauts, have caused any air to leak from Zarya, Russian for dawn, Reuters added. NASA just cut a 10-cent check to kickstart moon mining tech. NASA has cut a 10-cent check to space startup Lunar Outpost and the first-ever payment to a company to mine the moon. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson presented Justin Cyrus, CEO of Colorado-based space startup Lunar Outpost, with the first payment ever issued to a company as part of a space resource contract announced August 23rd here at the 36th Annual Space Symposium. The check, which was just 10 cents, or 10% of Lunar Outpost's $1 bid, and will go towards the company's efforts to collect lunar dust, or regolith, for the agency. That's it for today. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for all future updates.